Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. In the last video, we learned how we can create our entity, our DAO and our database. Now in this video, we will learn how we can save the data into our database by taking the inputs from our interface that we already created. So right now I am inside add node fragment and this fragment has two edit text and a floating action button. So when I will click on this button, I will save a new node into our database with this title and the node. So come inside add node fragment and here first we will attach a click listener to the floating action button. So the ID of the floating action button is button save. And then I will add an on click listener to this button. Now inside on click listener, first I will get the title and the note value from the edit text. So we have the title and the body of our note that we want to save inside our database. Now first, we will add some validations to this title and the body so that the user will not be able to save some empty note into the database. So we will check if note title is empty. So we set the error, we requested the focus and we are stopping the further execution. The same way I will add validation to the note body. Now if the validation succeeds, we will create a new instance of our entity which is our node. So here we will create a node and we will create a new node instance. Now when we create a node instance, we need to pass the ID, title and the node. But our ID is primary key and it is generated automatically. So that is why I will remove this ID from the constructor and I will write it here inside the class body. And this time I will make it a var of type int and the initial value would be zero. And we need to remove this ID from here because we cannot have two variables with the same name. So the error is gone. Now we will come back to the UI and inside add node fragment, we will create our node instance. Now this time we need to pass the title and the body only. So I will pass node title and node body. So we have our node instance. Now what I need to do is I need to call this node database. So we will call it like this. And to node database, we need to pass the context. So here we can pass activity. And let's make sure it is not null with the help of this. And then I will get the DAO from that node database. And then from the DAO, I will call the function add node. And here I will pass the node to save it inside database. Now let's try running the application to see if it is working or not. So this is our application. Now let's try adding a node. So let's add anything for now. And I will open the log and let's click this button. And you can see our application just crashed. And it is saying that node database IMPL does not exist. Now, if you are facing something like this, then it means we are using annotation processor here. But as we are using Kotlin for our project, we should not use this. So the solution is on the top, first write this line. You need to apply the plugin Kotlin KAPT. And then instead of this annotation processor, we will write here KAPT. Now again, you need to sync your project and then we will run it again. And let's save a value. Now again, it crashed. And this time the error message is cannot access database on the main thread. So this is the problem. When we are working with room, we cannot access our database in the main thread. If you will try to access your database in the main thread, it will crash. 
So we cannot just write this line here to save this note into our database. So what we will do? We will create one more function here. And I will name it private fun. And I can name it save note. And we will pass a note to this function. That's it. Now inside this function, I will create a class and I will name it save note. You see the S is capital here. So both are not same. You can change the name if you think it is confusing, but it's okay for me. And I will inherit async task to this class and all the three signature here I will make void and I just forget to write this parenthesis here which means we are calling the parent class constructor now inside this class we need to implement the members and the main member that needs to be implemented is to an background so it will do our task or it will perform our task in background. So what I will do here is I will paste the line that I cut from here. Now here I can write return null and I need to make this void nullable and I think everything is fine now. Now what I need to do is I need to create an instance of save note and then I need to call the function execute and everything is fine I think and here I can override one more function which is override fun on post execute now this executes when this do in background is finished so here we can write toast make text and then our activity and then let's say note saved and then the length of the toast and then we will display the toast. So when this is finished, this is called and here we are just displaying a success message and it is fine now. Now here we just need to call this function save note and we need to pass the note. Now let's try running the application again and this time it will work. So let's try adding a note. Let's say my note. Something important. And when I will click this button. You can see we get the message note saved. So it is working. And I think that's it for this video friends. And in the next video we will learn how we can get the notes back from the database to display it in this activity. And if you're having any confusions or questions, you can leave your comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please hit on that like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. So thank you guys. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.